welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Cecilia, I'm an illustrator and designer and today I'm going to show you how to make tie-dye tote bags. Yes. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel because I will bring more tutorials for you guys to see about making stuff, art stuff. So stay with me and I will show you everything in the table, uh, every materials that we're going to use and step by step how to make these beautiful tote bags. They're going to be awesome. So stay with me and I'll see you at the table. See ya! Bye! Hello guys and welcome to the table. Uh, so please get some clothes that can get uh, ruined and you don't care about it if, ha if it has paint so you don't ruin your clothes when you're making tie-dye stuff. Um, what we're going to need is uh, some tote bags. I have here some uh, neutral colored tote bags. Um, I just bought a bunch of them and I'm going to tie-dye them all. Um, these ones are really nice because they have like more space in it have this little fold and it has like more space so these ones are really cool the other ones don't have that much space so what other materials are we going to use? we're going to need some gloves so you don't get your hands dirty so get yourself a pair of gloves what else? a plastic bag so we can then put this on the floor and let the tote bags uh, dry on it so it doesn't mess up the floor. I have all of these inks. Um, these are acrylics um, fabric uh, ink. They are really pasty so I have to dissolve them in alcohol or water. But, uh, you can use any tie-dye inks that you have uh, in your craft store or if you're here in Portugal and Europe we have these kind of inks so pick a beautiful colors and let's use some inks inks, inks, inks what else? I'm going to use like this little uh, container this is from uh, dyeing hair uh, so we can put here the mixer of alcohol and ink in it and make the color that we want and make the tie-dye really handy I also have this little uh, measuring cup so we can use it also to make the tie-dye put the ink here and then we do like that this one we have more control this one not that much I prefer this one and also a little measuring cup so we can measure our alcoholic beverage no not really <laughs> um, so this is what I'm going to use uh, to mix up the ink. It's just normal alcohol you get in the store. So just normal alcohol. What else? Um, some rubber bands so we can tie and dye. <laughs> I have here like a little spoon so we can mix it up or some little sticks to mix up the inks. Um, I have also some napkins, we can use them to wipe up some excess stuff. And last but not least, ta -da -da -dum. So we need a, a little bucket with water. Woo, water. So we can then put our submerged our tooth bags in water and do the design and then we make we apply the ink. So, these are all the materials that you are going to need to make some tie-dye tote bags. So, now we're going to start just by submerging the tote bag here on the water. So, it absorbs then the ink. I'm just going to let it submerge. Let's add another one. Submerge really nice. So you can then make the design. So 
So just make sure they are really wet. Like this. And now I'm just going to take the excess water out. Like this. take the excess water and I'm going to set aside now for this one also take the excess water and now for this one Just take the excess water out and then we have it. Now I'm going to just set this aside for now. And now we have our, let me just take your napkin. This all wet here. I like my space clean. So, so now we have our wet tote bags. I'm just going to make them like this, flat on the surface, and I want my spiral to begin here, so I'm going to pinch it in the middle and make a spiral like that. Pinch it in the middle and go like this, and go like this, and you can see the spiral for making and go like this and just press it a little bit and with the rubber bands we're going just to tie it together like this one here one like this make it like having like four like this so now we have one spiral in each side so one tote bag it's done I'm going to set aside here and I'm going to make another one just flat it out on my board on my surface here for this one we are just going to make it like like this, just like a ground G, like this surface, like no spiral here, just like this. Then I'm going to add elastic, and another elastic, and another elastic, and another. Plastic rubber bands, so it's like this a really scrunchy uh, surface. So we have like our second design here. So, and now we have the third tote bag, and we're going to just pinch here in the middle, like this, and just push it like this. So you can make a spiral like this. We're going to make like a cone. So like this and we're going to tie it up with some rubber bands so you make like a circle a circles some circles so we're going to just to tie it up here like that So now we have our three 
different designs a spiral a crumple and like a bullseye I think this is called the bullseye so we have like little circles here in the middle so spiral crumple and bullseye we have these three different techniques of tie-dye and now I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to make the the inks so I'm going to use this one for today um, I'm going to put here on my cup let's just drop here the ink you can see it's really bluish green so I'm going to drop it like this just a little bit not much just a little bit more and there now I'm going to measure some alcohol And I'm going to put like, I will leave in the description the measures. Like 20 milliliters and like two cups of 20 milliliters of alcohol. There we have it. And now we're going to stir it. So the, the ink will dissolve in the alcohol and we can use it better because it's more liquefied because this ink is really pasty really really pasty let's get the napkin and clean up this beautiful color i love this green i love this green um so yeah just clean it and now i didn't put my gloves yet but i'm going to put my gloves right now because this is going to be messy so i'm putting now my gloves zooming out so i'm putting here my gloves because i'm going to press the ink and i don't want to get my hands dirty because this is really hard to take off um, I'm gonna take off my watch. Uh, so yeah, gloves on, ink ready. Now we're going to tie dye. Now we're going to dye, 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 dye. So yeah, gloves on, ink ready. Now we're going to dye. So we're going to just put here in this section, this section, and this section, so you can make a spiral. like this and like this we want the ink to get in it to make the spiral effect Now we can flip it and pour in the same side. You can pour in the opposite side. It's up to you. Whatever you like. I'm just pouring here and I know I have some here. No, I don't. I'm pouring here. be beautiful anyway. So I'm just adding more ink and now we add all the ink to this. Just 
just flip it and add a little bit more. I can't wait to open it and see the result. So now we just press it so the ink penetrates the, the texture like this and here we just press it again. That's one tote bag ready to dry. to leave it to dry so this one is going to have two colors and I'm going to add this one that left over from the other one uh, just here like this oops and here And it's over. And now I'm going to make the other color. It's just similar, but in a, it's a different shade. So uh, I'm going to make like the other ink here. It's also really dark green. And then there's a little, some drops of it. Now to alcohol. Just mix it up again. Just apply it like this. And now just squeeze it, squeeze the color in. And this one is ready. I'm going to just squeeze and let it dry in the floor. Again, I'm going to clean up here my mess. 
my messy table. <laughs> And I'm going for green again. Let's see what we have left. Just going to add here a little bit of alcohol again. And mix it up. I still have here a lot of color. one is the crumple one I'm just going to like put it like this like a messy 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 like this it's crumpled crumpled flip it over and do the same And this one is a crumple one. Now I'm just going to press, press here the textile, and it's ready to dry.